The Civil Defense Commission, CDC, has been mobilizing relief supplies for flood-affected regions and communities at the National Gymnasium, which has become the central storage location for supplies. While visiting the premises, the Prime Minister commended the CDC for coordinating and mobilizing food and cleaning supplies for flood-affected residents in communities across Guyana, and for setting up shelters in regions 9 and 10 for those residents who have been evacuated. Importantly, however, the Prime Minister said that beyond the current crisis, efforts need to be made to ensure that the country can build better and withstand the next disaster with a greater level of resilience. It is for this reason the Disaster Risk Management Bill, which has been in the works since 2012, is important. I have looked at the bill, the bill has been studied, and it's just a matter of time before you know, it, it, it is put before the House of Assembly. And, um, you know, with the intention of passing that bill. Because I think the whole intention of the bills and all the plans is to make us manage situations of disaster or complex emergency better the next time around than we do now. While noting that he does not have any criticisms of the bill, the Prime Minister said that the other ministers of government will review the bill also and share their comments. Once taken to the National Assembly, he said that other members of Parliament would be able to add their comments too. The whole effort is that at the end of it, we will continue to see improvement in the way in which we manage disasters in Guyana. And also um, to better focus our disaster mitigation projects. Right. So at the end of it all, we'll be less vulnerable the effects of climate change or any other disaster in Guyana. The Prime Minister also related that there is no timeline in place for the review of the bill before it is taken to the National Assembly. However, he assured members of the media that the government is working as fast as possible. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Vishani Ragabir.